All right, so today what we're gonna go over is how it is to do a trunnion upgrade for your LS style motor for just any stock rocker arm. The stock rocker arm, what happens here is this little bearing has captured needles inside there. And once I get it apart, I'll go a little bit more in depth. Actually, got one here. So it, it's basically a cup. And what a lot of people will find is that over time, this cage will fail and these needles will actually start to come out into the motor and then you'll have little bits of metal in your motor. Now it is two pieces, so that's how that works and it allows for the rocker to function. So in order to upgrade these, there are companies such as uh, BTR is what we'll be using today. This is the BTR uh, version two trunnion upgrade kit. But what we're doing here is we got to take this portion out first so that we can put the upgraded trunnions in and then it'll look like this. It'll have a C-clip and then a washer, but then the needles are actually trapped and captured inside that cage to where if any of this unit failed, they couldn't just come out and go into the motor. So we have a press here that we're gonna use to take this one apart. It's not really necessary to have a press, but it does make things easier. We've got a 24 millimeter socket, and then we're also using just a, any really small socket that'll fit inside a crevice there to press down on this bearing cage to push it out of place. But the lower socket does need to be big enough to where this portion here can fall right out. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is set this in the press and press the old bearing out. So there is a, a landing here on this side of that rocker arm that we're gonna set on the socket here just to keep it flat. Send our press up there. And then we're gonna take the socket Set it down on there flat. And it doesn't take a ton of pressure. I'm just gonna get that started there like that. And then the field start to push. Gotta get the handle out for this. And then you notice it just slides down through. And this is why it's important to have a socket large enough for the trending to sit down in because it just pops like that. Go ahead and let this go back up here. And now that trunnion is done. So there is the old trunnion out of the rocker assembly. And we just gotta get this cage out of here. This one actually stayed together. There wasn't anything wrong with this particular rocker. This has actually got fairly low miles, uh, right around uh, 5,000 miles on the assembly. But just to be on the safe side, we've had a couple of these fail recently. So we want to be sure with this next motor that what's going on here is actually uh, not going to have to worry about this failure. So then what we do, that here. I'm just going to take another one here. This is the BTR version 2 again. We just slide this bearing cage down in there as such. There are letters on there so we've been facing the letters out and then what we do is we're stacking our plates and the kit actually did come with a set of hardened washers. So what we've been doing here today is just sitting them down like that. Now, because it doesn't take a lot of force or pressure to push these bearings into the rocker assembly, uh, you want to get them as straight as you can, but it, it really is not a big deal if they're uh, not dead center on as you start to press down. It'll push itself into that groove before you actually break this strap. Because again, it's not a, a ton of force required to push those in. 
uh, because of the clearancing that they are set up for. So once you have that in there, you'll feel it stop. Just go ahead and release your press. And then that bearing is now pushed in to the rocker assembly. You will take your next piece. It's just the center trunnion. Set that down into the bearing you've already pressed in. Take a new bearing. Make sure the letters are facing outward. And then you'll take your hardened washer. You'll set that little section there because it does stick out. Set that there. And that'll give you the space that you need uh, to make sure that you're not just pushing down on the trunnion itself. Take the second washer, set it over that hole. And then same thing. Just go ahead and slide that in there all the way. One thing that we noticed with this kit, with the supplied washers, is that you'll feel it stop, just like everything else, fine, is that the washers don't actually, they're not actually taller than the assembly when it's pushed. So it does stick out a little bit. So we noticed that the bearings don't push all the way down. We did try and use a little bit of a thicker washer to get rid of that, it really didn't make a difference. They didn't go down any further. So then what you'll do is you'll take the supplied washer and you will need a set of snapper and pliers. Uh, I mean, I guess you could try and do this with a hammer and a screwdriver. I wouldn't suggest that you will lose these uh, snap rings here. And I'll try and get this here. Just open that up. And there is a channel or a groove on that trunnion. Open it up enough. And you can see it sits inside that groove. This is a better area. It's just that black groove goes all the way around. We'll take our washer, stick it on there like that. And you'll notice there is a more flat section on both the washer and the clip. And I just try and make sure that the flat end is actually facing the bearing. And that's it, that's done. Ready for the next one. I wanna thank you for watching this video. You guys have a great day.